Hey guys, welcome back to Instant Pot Monday. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorites. It's Instant Pot Smoky Barbecue Pork. So I'm Kristen, I am the second oldest from SixSisterStuff.com and today I am sharing with you one of my new favorite Instant Pot recipes. This is another one of those dump and go recipes. You're gonna throw everything in, cook it, and you're good to go. In case you didn't know, every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you. I also have an awesome new post to teach you how to make your own Instant Pot recipes. Let's head on over to the kitchen to make this delicious Instant Pot smoky barbecue pork. You're gonna start with a three to four pound pork roast. Now this, if this is a lot for you, you can freeze half of it when it's all done cooking. Then on top of the roast, you're going to add smoked paprika. You can use normal paprika too, but this is going to be a smoky pulled pork, so I'm using smoked. And use three tablespoons of it. It seems like a lot, but it's really delicious. Next, you're going to add one tablespoon of salt. And then on top of that, you're going to add one tablespoon of pepper. Again, it seems like a lot, but this recipe is full of flavor. Then add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this next step is the most important because it gives it its smoky flavor. So you're going to add a third of a cup of liquid smoke. And you can find that at any grocery store. Liquid smoke. It's amazing. Now, if you have a favorite barbecue sauce, you can pour in the whole entire jar. The barbecue sauce that I'm using is from Kroger. It's private selection. It's their Kansas City inspired, and it is so good. Now, if you're gonna make this in the Instant Pot, I added a half a cup of water. If you're making it in the slow cooker, you're not gonna add any water. Now, all you're gonna do is put your lid on, close it, and make sure that it's on sealing, not venting. Now I'm gonna push manual, you can push meat or stew, and just go all the way up to 60 minutes. Now I have a little cheat sheet that will tell you the times of how long things need to cook up there in the corner. Now for those cooking this in the slow cooker, you're gonna cook it on low for eight to 10 hours or longer if you want. Now back to the Instant Pot, you're gonna let it release on its own for at least 10 minutes and then open it up. Now, if your meat doesn't shred easily, you can always put the lid back on and cook it for a little longer if you need to. But my pork is done, so I'm going to pick it up with some forks, put it on a plate, and then I'm just going to shred it up. Now my roast had quite a bit of fat in it, so I removed a lot of the fat before I shredded it up. But once it's shredded, you just go ahead and put it on buns, and it makes for a perfect summer meal. Thanks so much for joining me on our Instant Pot Mondays. Now if you want to turn one of your favorite recipes into an Instant Pot recipe, click on my little video right there and it will teach you how to convert your recipe into an Instant Pot recipe. Alright guys, we'll see you later.